and welcome to this short video showcasing the North Central Catchment Management Authority's project at Johnson Swamp, located near Kerrang in Northern Victoria. The North Central Catchment Management Authority is the leading natural resource management agency in North Central Victoria, connecting rivers, landscapes and people to improve the health of catchments and communities. Working in partnership with communities and stakeholders, the North Central CMA undertake works to protect the region's diverse environmental assets and strives to create a healthy and sustainable environment for the communities of our region. There are 1,619 wetlands within the North Central CMA region, a total of 84,325 hectares or 2.8% of the region is covered by these wetlands and 77% of these wetlands are considered to be of regional, national or international importance. The North Central CMA delivers many projects to protect and enhance wetlands throughout the region and to maximise the shared benefits of available water for the community. One of the region's iconic sites is the Kerrang Lakes, a system of more than 100 wetlands. The area is of great importance to waterbirds supporting large numbers of local and migratory species. In fact, the wetlands are so important, 23 are listed as part of the internationally significant Ramsar Convention, a 1975 intergovernmental agreement protecting wetland habitat around the world. A key wetland of national and international importance among the Kerrang Ramsar site is Johnson Swamp. Hi, my name's Heidi Kleinert and I work on wetlands at North Central CMA. Welcome to Johnson Swamp. Johnson Swamp is a 340 hectare wetland located 15 kilometres southeast of Kerrang. It's a wetland that supports high diversity and abundance of water birds, up to 42 different species. The wetland also supports other animals that are listed on national and international agreements. The wetland can provide feeding and breeding opportunities for water birds, drought refuge and a stopover for migratory shorebirds, such as the sharp-tailed sandpiper that travels thousands of k's back and forth from Australia. Johnson Swamp also supports critically endangered species such as the Australian painted snipe and the intermediate egret and growling grass frog. Other endangered birds here include the freckled duck, Australian little bittern and the Australasian bittern. Not only does the wetland support animals, it has over 90 plant species. These all provide specific habitat that attracts birds and other animals to breed. The wetland is also important for indigenous cultural sites. Archaeological sites have been recorded at Johnson Swamp and these include artefacts, mounds and scar trees. Johnson Swamp, like most waterways across Australia, has dramatically changed since European settlement and in the past many of our wetlands have been disconnected and regulated to harvest water for agriculture and urban supplies, allowing the communities to develop and prosper. The establishment of the Trumbury Irrigation District in 1920s changed the land use and modified the Crane Lakes forever. Wetlands are now recognised in playing a critical role in our landscape. With environmental water, the North Central CMA can protect and enhance the values of Judson Swamp under these changed conditions. Victoria has set aside water specifically for the environment with legal entitlements. Environmental water does not affect water allocations such as irrigation and urban entitlements and the volume of water available varies each year depending on seasonal allocations similar to other water users. The Victorian Environmental Water Holder is the independent statutory body responsible for holding and managing Victoria's environmental water entitlements. We work closely with the community, land managers, water corporations, local interest groups and other government agencies to ensure environmental water is used to achieve the best environmental outcome with the water that is available. In autumn 2015, Johnson Swamp received 1500 megalitres of environmental water. The environmental water was aimed at providing a diversity of habitats so water birds have the right conditions for feeding, breeding and nesting. The water has already triggered insects and frog breeding, water birds are visiting and in the warmer months the aquatic plants will set seed and germinate encouraging more bird life. While environmental flows are used to achieve the best environmental outcome with the water that is available, they also provide multiple community benefits including recreation and tourism, social and heritage and economic values which are dependent on the environmental condition of wetlands. By managing environmental water, the North Central CMA can help protect and enhance the natural values of wetlands in our region.